beautiful view. Just took off from Innsbruck. Some avionics. Climbing out. 2400 feet per minute, 280 knots. Five screen, uh, 60 inch screens. LED wrap around. X Plane 10. Five computers running this for the outside views. Left screen over here, the rendering's turned down more because of the uh, low quality of the video card I have on that computer. Uh, each one of these views is 45 degrees field of view for a total of 225. It's going around to the uh, co pilot side here. Looking out to the right window. Even if I lean forward all the way to the uh, glare shield here, you can still see I've got coverage out that right side window. And the same goes for the left if I tilt this around and look this way. Let's just uh, bank this thing around. So if I put it in a bank here, go around, let's do a turn, 180 degree turn. See out the right side window. Beautiful scenery, very good textures. Um, yeah, you do have bezels, you know, from the monitors. They're very small, they're about a half inch. Uh, frankly, to me, your eyes don't pay attention to them after a little while while you're flying. You don't even notice them. What you really do notice is the uh, immersion, the motion. Now we talk about uh, projected screens giving you that better immersion. Well, with five LED 60 inch screens wrapping around your whole view, you, get, you certainly get that same level of immersion that you do out of the projection. The difference is, is you've got a thousand times more clarity. Uh, not scientifically a thousand, but I mean it is just clear, beautiful. The other interesting thing I found with uh, using LEDs over using projectors is that they put off a lot of light. So if I, let me see if I can change the time of day to get some sunshine coming in from one point or another. Let me uh, try to get the sun. There we go. So we're changing the time of day. The sun just going down over there. Let me get that back. So there's the sun coming up over here. And what you see, if I look at the seat inside the cockpit and I change the lighting effects, okay, because the sun is right now off to the right side, and you can see how it's kind of bouncing light off the inside of the cockpit here. Now if I change the time of day and just change the uh, lighting, you'll see how it really affects the lighting in the cockpit. The other thing that's kind of cool is that if I throw into a bank here and I'll leave the sun right there out in the middle of the screen, I'm going to throw this into a bank. And you see that the darkness, I'm going to just let the, uh, the light kind of do its thing inside the cockpit here as it come around. The sunlight's starting to come into the forward windshield right now. effect on this, uh, on this uh, video, but I mean it definitely brightens up the whole inside of the cockpit, so I didn't really get that on the uh, projectors. That could have a lot to do with X-Plane too. the sun off my left side as I'm banking around here. It's telling me I'm about to level off here at my uh, 22,000 foot altitude. job with X-Plane of leveling off.
there in front of us. You can see the volumetric fog effect and the um, what they call an uh, atmospheric scattering effect. And you can also see, I don't know if you can tell, but it got a little brighter in the cockpit uh, because the sun is now shining off of my left side. But anyway, that, that uh, atmospheric scattering is supposed to uh, give you the effect of, you know, haze off in the distance, uh, letting the uh, surrounding the surroundings kind of blend out into a haze. Anyway, there you have it, X-Plane 10, Simavionics, 60-inch uh, LEDs, XPU IPC. Great combination. I'm very happy. Hope you guys have a good day.